Welcome to session two. <clears throat> this will be part one. So part one is going to be showing you how to use this as well as having to be able to flip that. So the first thing you do, you get in your tow truck. Now in game you'll be able to click it. But for now, you cannot. And I have no Roblox, huh? All it is is driving. So, first thing you do is you say state. This is what we did first video. Tow and service. Tow and service. And you set yourself available. And the radio will make a clicking noise. But for right now, it's not. I don't have So the game is pretty much you wait for a call to come up in here or down here. So we'll just drive around. I'll show you a little bit on the campus. So as soon as you say copy and root, actually, sorry, I said that wrong. You'll say copy and root car. Honor. And then you'll set yourself busy. And so we're driving. We'll end up on the scene. And you'll say on scene. Car spawner. And then at this point, you will set your setup. And the tow trucks are a little different in this game than in actual power stuff. So you want to flip it because you want to leave some space right here. You want to leave a lot of space because you're going to flip. You don't want to turn on your hazards and you want to turn on warning lights. You want to make sure your truck's in part. Do that by hitting P. If you're not out, you click it again and it's in P. So then you want to come back here. You want to look right here. This is your control. You want to click it. Let me show you again. You click it, and it pulls up this. And you'll say, you can say whatever you put beds down. You can say, put bed down, or or you can say, pulls levers down. I say pulls levers down. It makes it more realistic. You pull them down, and then after you do that, you want to grab cones, and these are your cones. Oh, there it is. You go and grab your cones, and you want to go ahead and put one here and one here, and then you want to go up to the car. You want to put one at the front tire. You want to put one at the back tire, and then this is the tricky part. You want to free spool the winch. You want to take it all the way to the back of the car. The reason we take it to the back of the car is so that when you pull it, it'll flip over the cone. And from here, you want to detach the winch, and you want to put another cone behind. It depends whatever front of the end of the car is closer to the truck is which side the cone is going to go on. You want to put it in between the fender, the front fender, or the back, and right before the tire gets to the doors. So pretty much right there. And then you want to take the winch it on the front or the back of the car depending on which side you're doing it from. You want to come back over here. And then sometimes it'll do this little number. That's why we put the cones on the outside because it'll bump it in and your car will be nice and straight. Now, stopping it, 
you want to stop it as soon as the right back bumper gets over this little dip. So you want to stop it about there. But you want to make sure you have enough winch. And then you weld the car. Make sure you hit the weld button. If you don't, the car's going to glitch out. And you'll say pull the levers up. And then it will pull the car up on the bed. Hit exit. Swings a cone. <laughs> Swings. A minus. And then you want to jump in the truck. And this is the part where it gets tricky. They're going to say transporting X1 pink crown book duty and pound. And so oh, that shouldn't be tagged. If it is, just don't worry about it. And take those off. Take that off. And this car will move slow. This truck will move slower. But it will not in game. It's just slow during here. And then you'll get to the station. You'll want to unload. And do a swirly thing so I get some speed. You want to unload. We'll do it in the shop because we can. Don't ever do it in the shop. The lot will be outside. It'll look thin spin like this. I hit the wrong button, sorry. So then you get to where you want to unload it. And you'll do basically everything in reverse. Pull levers down. And then you'll jump up here. Take off. Insurance off. So that's when you release the car and you detach winch. And the car will not roll off like it just did. And then when you're done, pull levers up. When you're done, you'll do this. And then that's it. Hey guys, so I have moved the car. So, this is basically going to demonstrate how you block off a road with a car like this. So, we're going to turn our warning lights on. And we'll turn our hazards. In the game, they're K. It's K. But on the training center, for whatever reason, it's T. I don't know why. So you want to stop here real quick. You want to park your brake, your truck. And you're going to grab some cones. You want to place your cones so that it directs traffic easier. I'm going to do three across like this. And then I'll go a few steps. I'll place one. And I'll go a few more steps. You want big gaps because then you have more cones for able to flip in your car. And then that's that. And I don't know why I pulled out the car bump. Anyway. So now that you've got the scene set up, which what you want to do is if it's not you'll use flares. Um but it's not. So what you want to do is you want to get back in your truck. You want to unpark it. And you want to aim the truck as close as you possibly can without exiting the gun. Like, that's okay. But don't let the tire cross the outside of the gun. So once you got that set up, stop moving truck T. You want to activate this. You want to Put your bed down. 
and then you want to make sure you have enough cones because the remove button works on the training center but it doesn't work in game so you want to pull winch you want to go ahead and grab that winch and then put it on this side and then you want to put your cone You have to make sure they're on the ground, because if they're not, then it won't work. <clears throat> and then you want to hold the button, and you want to hold the button, and hopefully this works. There it goes. So it will work at an angle. It just is very picky at times. So I have two options here. I can pull this back in, or I can reposition the truck. I like to go with repositioning the truck so that I can remove it and reposition so that I can get some better rate. You want to also make sure that your bed has stopped moving before you enter the truck or the truck will break. Pull up a little bit. Angle the truck a little bit. Let's pull up a little more. There we go. That's parked. I'm going to go ahead and get this pull lever down. And Retro is also watching me because he's being Retro. Alright, now you want to grab three pulls winch. And you want to grab that winch. And then you want to go ahead and hook it to the front. And you want to grab your cone, put one on the back tire, put one on the front, and put one on the side. And then you want to go ahead, make sure it's clear. Pull it in. You might have to stop, and you might have to remove the cone, and put an extra second one here, because you can see that this is going to hit it, and it's going to turn to the left, I mean to the right, the car's going to turn to the right, and so you put in that extra cone there will help it, and it'll push it over, and onto, straight onto the bed. You want to stop it. You want to weld it. You want to pull the levers up. And then you want to clean up cone. And I wish the remove thing would work because you can go by each cone and clean them, literally clean them up except every once in a while. Like, Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video today. I hope that session one and parts helped you guys a lot, and I hope that the training did help you as well. Retro has to go. I'm going to give him a big thank you for doing this. Thanks. And I want you guys, if you see Retro, tell him thanks for helping me out. He will be gladly appreciated about it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. The comment section is open. If you have any questions, let me know. You also have my Discord. I will put the Discord on the end of the screen. Other than that, stay so off to D. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA.